We've seen both of these definitions and rules before, but it bears repeating and going over one more time. A probability distribution is a table, a graph, or a formula, which provides all the possible values of the random variable and their corresponding probabilities. It's just in this section that variable will definitely be a discrete random variable, whereas in chapter 5 sometimes they could be words. So if you look down at, below at all of these particular tables, all of these have the x value being numerical and discrete. That's all that's the um, changed from this particular section to previous sections when we learned about this in chapter 5. So for us in chapter 6, x will be discrete and quantitative. which was not always the case. I mean, think about some of those tree diagrams we were doing in chapter five, for example, um, with true and false, or boy and girl, or male and female, that kind of thing. Those were words, whereas in chapter six, they'll have to be a discrete quantitative variable. But other than that, the definition is the same definition we already learned. Similarly, these rules, we already learned them, but these are written in math speak, right, with symbols, so what do they mean? This one's saying the sum of all the probabilities must be one, right? Sum of all the probabilities in the sample space. And this one's saying all the probabilities must be between zero and one. No negative probabilities and no probabilities over one. You cannot have negative probabilities and probabilities over one will get you into trouble on the first part as well, because then the sum would not be one. So nor probabilities over one. All right, so let's look and see whether these following probability distributions are valid. All right, so if you look at the first one, you might think you're in trouble because of that negative but you're not, you're okay. X can be anything. It's just the probabilities cannot be negative. And you would need these four numbers to add up to one. But five plus three is eight. Eight plus one is nine. Nine plus one is 10. So indeed the sum of these probabilities is one, right? It's 10 out of 10, which is one. And none of the probabilities are negative. So we're great. So this is valid because the sum of the probabilities is one, and I'm just gonna write it in math teacher notation, right? All the probabilities are between zero and one, right? No negatives, right? All right, this one's a little weird, but it's actually valid. <laughs> it's valid, it's, it's just strange. It's unusual for us to have one thing be certain and the other things be impossible. It's like a very weird loaded die. So it's valid, Again, because the sum of the probabilities is one, and you have no negative probabilities. Zero is okay, one's okay. You can see right there, they have little or equal to bars in them. So each of your probabilities is between zero and one, and that's fine, as long as the sum of your probabilities is also one, which we, we have, so we're good. All right, this one I don't have to go anywhere. I know it's no good to me, <laughs> right? I can spot it from a mile away. It's this right here. Negative probabilities are not allowed. So not valid because negative probabilities are impossible. All right, now this one. 3.6.9, these three numbers add up to 0.9. This would make it one, this would make it 1.2. So the sum of these probabilities, the sum of the P of X is 1.2. 1.2 is not one. So this is not valid either, right? The sum of the probabilities, sum of probabilities, or you could write sum of P of X, that's fine, is 1.2 not one. 